Hey everybody, I'm Mark Webb. Today I'll be talking to you guys about Craig. Um, it's not this guy here, Craig, but we're not asking to talk about him. Um, Craig stands for Creating React Apps in Gatsby. So um, just a little bit about myself. Um, I'm a software engineer at Element 84, but I'm only working on the front end. The mic's up. Hey everybody that's online. Uh, just to introduce myself and I'm Mark Webb. I'm a software engineer at Element 84, primarily working on the front end. And primarily, I mean, I spent an hour in AWS, so that was my, um, my DevOps hour. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can find me on Twitter, Instagram, sorry, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube at Quest Post Fire. And then there's all my other information and email. Don't email me, but you can if you want. <laughs> um, right. So, when I first started using React, I used Create React app. I'm not sure if anybody else out there has used that. Um, but essentially, it's a tool for, um, it's a officially supported way to create a single page React application. It offers a modern build setup you know, configuration. Um, you can easily spin up an app by going into your terminal and using Create React app. And then your app name, here in this example is Marco app. And you'll get to set up something like this when the app first runs. Um, and then we have Gatsby, which is described as a blazing fast modern site generator for React. Um, they say that you can go beyond static sites, build blogs, e-commerce sites, full-blown apps, and more Gatsby. Um, similar setup to a React app, you go to your terminal, you use the keyword Gatsby new, the name of your app, again, my cool app, and you'll get something similar to this, which is ask when I die. So, what does any of that mean? It essentially means that two companies say that they make a better way to make React apps. We have Facebook. I'm sorry, Facebook. <laughs> they own a lot of companies, but Facebook <laughs> says that, hey, we have we created React, here's what we just do. Then you have Gatsby. I can confuse with this guy. Uh, this big Gatsby, figure that out, throw him in, don't worry, you won't see his face. Coding that glass anymore. But we have Gatsby, the company, and they have a way that they think it's better, and I agree. So, one thing is routing out of the box is handled inside of Gatsby. If you create a React app, you can use something similar to this. Um, probably more complicated, you're gonna have um, a router um, tag. All of this when you have a router tag, probably a switch tag. Things of that nature. As a new developer, it can be a little confusing. While it is important to know, it can also be a pain, even if you've been developing for a while. Gatsby makes that easy, right out of the box. You just create pages, give it a name, here you'll have slash about, slash contact, slash index, so on and so forth, whatever you create. Logging is just handy, handled inside of the basic index. Very, very pleasant. Also with React, you can really look like a rock star. So if you're maybe a developer that's just starting, wanting to do some freelance work, maybe graduated from a boot camp, in between looking for a job, get some clients, you can make a website that's really, really fast, really responsive, looks great. Um, These are some of the things that um, <coughs> Gatsby has done. Now both Create React App and Gatsby use a web app, and with Gatsby, they configure their web pack in a way that they do code and data splitting. So what that does is it ensures that only developing code and data is loaded on your page when you look at the um, visit that page. And it saves on load time, makes your site really, really fast. Along with that, they do prefetching. So um, when you load a Gatsby app, it renders the HTML, it renders the CSS, JavaScript. And then instead of just stopping right there, it looks at all the hyperlinks that you have on your page. It takes those hyperlinks. It starts loading those pages. So that when the visitor goes and clicks on a link, that page just loads instantly, super fast. Um, and it just makes you look like a great developer because it's like, wow, this experience is great. And you might have been developing for like six months. But you could be a rock star. But... <laughs> um, so blazing fast. I guess I kind of already explained why it's blazing fast, but here's some more information on this. Uh, you can take his web pack that gives um, the content needs and needs when the page is rendered and grabs the rest later. First loads the HTML, it loads the CSS um, 
is compiled inland, so it doesn't have to necessarily download the CSS. Um, JavaScript is loaded asynchronously, and um, it's loaded as static assets, and then it rehabits to React app. So it is React app, even though it's a static set, you know, it is everything comes as uh, static assets. It becomes a React app in the background of everything is open, which is really, really nice. So, I know I said you wouldn't see this guy on my glass again. And I didn't lie, he's not holding the glass, he's holding ooh. So, <laughs> Gatsby also has very rich SEO. Um, thanks, Google Consumers. <laughs> <laughs> and um, with that said, it actually has some um, SEO solutions out of the box. So with SEO, this is what's going to get your site on uh, Google and other search engines, um, high at the top on the first page, hopefully. And also very good if you're a freelancer and you're like, hey, I want to go to your website, why should I get you? I'm going to make sure that you're making money because you're going to be at the top of Google's results. So um, it has a default SEO component that you can use in Google Figure. Um, it renders sites so that all data is available to search engines. So every single page you have, you can use something like React Helmet. Um, you have React Helmet, you'll put your metadata inside of React Helmet. And um, like I said, you have you can add a title, description, metadata, whatever metadata you need, and your yeah, SEO is going to be superb, and your clients can be really happy if their business does well. There's also a large plugin and theme um, economy inside of Gatsby. Currently, there's over 800 plugins um, on Gats in Gatsby. Um, essentially, the NPM package is specifically for Gatsby. Um, they're usually pretty simple to configure. I can't promise that for all of the plugins, but for the most part, pretty simple to uh, plug in. Um, and then we have themes, which work pretty similar. Um, so, for example, here at Element 84, we have a project that we're working on. And so we have a, a client repo, and then we have a um, component repo. Inside of that component repo, we make all of the components for the client. We make it very generic so that we can, um, without much branding, and so it's very flexible. We can then take that component, put it inside of the client repo, put those components in, add branding. And let's say that client comes and says, hey, we have this other project we want you to work on. No problem. We already have all those components built. We don't need to rewrite them, rebuild them. We just take our um, thing that we created, put it inside of a JSON package, start adding branding, and there we go. I've also done this in my personal time, um, or started, for a project that I've also called Trade. <laughs> and I'm going to be using that as a personal um, component library. All right, and we have my guy here again, but again, it's not his face. He's on the glass, but he is now Mr. Gatsby as well. Pretty good. Those are supposed to be next to each other, but whatever. Here's my um, information if you would like it, and if anybody has questions, the floor is open. Anybody want to go? All right. So the prefetching is that just pages on your domain, or is that external links as well for the prefetching? External links. As well. Okay. Yep. So um, if you load up the index file, you go there. All of those um, links that are there. It's going to be prefetched, um, start loading right after you visit the page. If you visit some other page on the site, um, I don't know, about, you have different links there. Those links are going to start prefetching as well. Is that inherit the Gatsby or is that a React? That's definitely not a React thing. So um, it's in there to Gatsby and it's just kind of the way that they set up their uh, build pack and how Gatsby was built. Um, if you use create React app, that's not going to happen. This site will still be pretty fast, but it's just not going to be as fast as the How does it? How does it do server-side rendering? And like with React apps, I'm used to it like being in the browser. So how would it? Does it do both? <coughs> uh, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of fumbling with it right now. So it does do server-side rendering. Um, it kind of compiles it on build. So that's essentially how it's done. Uh, Gatsby Helmet is that like just like front matter a front matter plugin? What's the what was Gatsby Helmet? 
Um, it's the it's pretty much the same thing as uh, React Home in general. It's just a plugin specifically for Gatsby. Okay. So um, I think the plugin is React Home in Gatsby. Like that. Anybody on the phone? Okay. Cool. That's it. Um, we'll